This is a public statement by Anarcho Syndical Boy on behalf of the Commune of Anarchy, Arizona Rebellion, and LA Underground. The self proclaimed founders of the United International Intercommunal Convergence, Dr. Weisfeld, Jason Unruh, Comrade Nett, Luke Dublin, have failed to represent the United International Intercommunal Convergence. The United International Intercommunal Convergence is the name that Dr. Weisfeld gave to a fellowship of anarchists, Maoists, Demarchists, and Third Worldists. It is our position that Comrade Nett and Dr. Weisfeld are both politically untrustworthy. This does not mean that they have motives of anti-socialism. This does not mean that they have motives of pro-fascism. Dr. Weisfeld has endorsed the discredited PCUSA. Before this, he was endorsing China, despite the ongoing denunciation of China by the United International Intercommunal Convergence. Dr. Weisfeld seems to forget that the PCUSA has a rule to be against Jason Unruh. Dr. Weisfeld seems to forget that the PCUSA has one of the highest turnover rates of almost any other Communist Party because of the controlling rules of that political party, not to mention the several sex scandals the party has been connected to. In 2021, Jason Unruh restarted the Maoist Rebel News as a news network. MRN was supposed to be a news network representing the United International Interconvergence communal convergence. Comrade Nett has consistently functioned as a patsy for everyone. When he was not draining his mind of his own thoughts to replace them with Dr. Weisfeld's thoughts, it was Stone Soviet's thoughts that he would assume. We are sick of Comrade Nett's insecurities and his desperation to make people get along. While Comrade Nett considers us to be utopian, we declare that he is the real utopian. We do not oppose Comrade Nett. We still consider Comrade Nett a comrade. But we had but he had us convinced that MRN was going to help get us our testimonies viral at our own discretion. We do not oppose Dr. Weisfeld. The issue is that Dr. Weisfeld seems to be incapable of dropping very reactionary positions. After the events of May 27, 2019, Dr. Weisfeld called the FBI, which put many communists and anarchists in danger. His cultural incompetence is unacceptable. Comrade Nett has claimed many times that Dr. Weisfeld regrets calling the FBI, but never has Dr. Weisfeld apologized for this, nor has he ever self-criticized. The best idea came from, uh, came from Marxism is self-criticism, to which Dr. Weisfeld seems to think he is above. The act of self-criticism transcends Marxism. The entire United International Intercommunal Convergence has adopted the act of self-criticism, so why not Dr. Weisfeld? His lack of memory is inexcusable. He never remembers any details. All that Comrade Nett has done is make excuses for Weisfeld. I learned about, a lot about Gilead Osman, a Trotskyist who tries to hide the fact that he is a Trotskyist. Gilead Osman has been wrecking Dr. Weisfeld for years. What would Dr. Weisfeld do if a former member of MRN made a solidarity video to Gilead Osman? Dr. Weisfeld is a double standard man. What hurts him matters. What hurts his comrades does not matter. Anyone with any objection to such betrayals is not really being betrayed. They are emotional and need to get over it. That is the foundation of Weisfeld logic. Weisfeld has been called out on these things before, but as we now know, he will always revert to some type of betrayal. This is frustrating because we really do endorse what he does for Palestine. Dr. Weisfeld's professional style is not a style of a revolutionary. It is the style of an academic. This has clearly corrupted him. We suspect that Dr. Weisfeld hates both communists and anarchists because of his superiority complex. We, in all reality, don't suspect this that strongly, but he clearly is out to control us. He has accused a Maoist group, of which is also a part of the convergence of trying to control him. This is called the psychological projection. Many people over the years have noticed that this psychological projection coming from him. He has never corrected this. In 2020, Comrade Nat Jason Unruh Luke Dublin collaborated with Dr. Weisfeld, forming a sort of outline representing for this ongoing collaboration of anarchists, Maoists, Demarchists, and Third Worldists, which was meant to become strong enough not to be removed from the internet by rightists and centrists for hurting their capitalist feelings. To this day, Dr. Weisfeld and Comrade Nett have both repeatedly let down the anarchist, Maoists, and Third Worldists of this convergence. Every so often, they would correct their behavior, but it never lasted. They only care about Demarchists. 
I think I understand why. Demarchism is new. Those who feel that communists and anarchists don't meet the true revolutionary goals, of course, want an alternative. I am not in any way a leftist opportunist. Comrade number three has called on all demarchists to remove themselves from the United International Intercommunalist Convergence. Number three is the most respected demarchist there is, so they all let the convergence. The anarchists, Maoists, and third worldists have remained in the International Intercommunal Convergence. The name which Dr. Weisfeld gave the Fellowship of Anarchists, Maoists, Demarchists, and third worldists is the United International Intercommunal Convergence. This name was embraced, but Dr. Weisfeld thinks that it is meant to own us with all of our ideas. From what I found out, Dr. Weisfeld has a group he made on social media called International Intercommunal Convergence, a group with which no one in it really cares about, which is pathetic and makes many of us feel kind of remorseful. No one wants to wreck Dr. Weisfeld, but he only cares about his own causes and is willing to reduce human beings to tools. I don't think he means to harm anyone. I have come around over the years to realize he is actually very genuine in his positions, but he is out of touch to a level which I and many other anarchists can no longer tolerate. Comrade Nett should retire already. It is not my fault, nor is anyone else's fault for, except for his own, that he has become isolated. This is Nett's own fault for being a pathetic people pleaser that he has become. Jason Unruh made a public statement on behalf of the MRN network. He made a statement that those with more privilege must work for those with less privilege. But it would seem that only the Falcone General and Dark Synovia were the only ones who took this seriously. At first, Stone Soviet took this seriously, but this is no longer the case. While I do congratulate her for coming out as a woman, you would think that this would make her more willing to help us get out our actual message to the public. In fact, I was personally trying to speak to her through video chat. We have very limited access to the internet. We have to save up just to use it. All employment any of us get is under the table and undocumented. We leave no paper trail behind. We are without identification cards, social security cards, and birth certificates. We have to make sure we can charge the electronics. This can be very difficult. Many times, whatever electronic devices we have get destroyed in raids. We are effing squatters and have dedicated ourselves to the overthrow of the state. We all wish that Jason Unruh would have kept the promises he promoted in his six. This documentary will not be monetized video. We wish that Luke Dublin would fight back against the slander as it comes from comrades who prove only to be left opportunists. A good deal of Comrade Nett's squirmism, which Luke himself called out publicly, may have stopped if Luke would have stood up to Stone Soviet. I have several problems with Demarchus and Demarchus theory, but it is not a theocratic theory as Stone Soviet has claimed last year. Luke knows better, but he is still squired for Stone Soviet by staying silent. It is one thing to criticize, it is another to slander. The United International Intercommunal Convergence was started on May 28, 2020 in California. The majority of anarchists, Maoists, Demarchists, and Third Worldists who have been involved in collaboration efforts to publish Praxis under Jason Unders Publishing were meeting up in Arizona from 2020 to 2022. Now the, the majority of collaboration efforts by the Convergence take place in California. We hold Dr. Abraham Weisfeld in high regard but can no longer allow him to call himself the chairman of this Convergence. Dr. Weisfeld was in support of the ultra-capitalist country of China. The United International Intercommunal Convergence has always opposed China. We would like to thank the Falcon General and Dark Sinovia for being the only ones who ever actually did what we asked of them. We think that the Falcon General should make a comeback and free herself from any network. She's good enough to be independent and Falcon General is the best class trader on YouTube. No other Maoist on YouTube has even a tenth of her resolve. We miss seeing her. She is beyond everyone who was part of MRN. The many different groups who make up the United International Intercommunal Convergence have elected Dark Synovia as the chairman of the United International Intercommunal Convergence. This will be publicly confirmed by other groups who are a part of the Convergence. We would like to see more of Maxwell Glover so long as he is not endorsing the ultra-capitalist country of China. It is true that the, internet, the United International Intercommunal Convergence began to emerge out of response to the events of the 27th of May 2019. 
It's also true that Dr. Weisfeld gave the convergence its name. If he wants to know why not enough of us outreach to him, it is primarily because he kept saying things publicly that could get us discredited by the lumpen proletariat. Most of this he has fixed only to say newer reactionary things. His current protests are very good, and we hope he succeeds. We were under the impression that Luke Dublin was able to explain things to Dr. Weisfeld, but he is mostly non-existent online now. There is nothing we are not aware of. We do not claim to have a perfect understanding of everything going on in the social media world, but we know what is going on in real life. The Falcon General dumped MRN youth on Corporal Cat. Corporal Cat abandoned the position because of their own life became too filled with turmoil. We also understand that the Falcon General felt that PSFM was forcing her to stay as the lead of MRN youth. We know that many times Comrade Net had plans to publicly apologize to the Falcon General for this. Because this is not what the intention of, because they don't like what it stands for. They are planning to announce publicly for some time in the future their new name. Comrade Net does not make this public apology to the Falcon General because he fears the Stone Soviet further slandering him. This is pathetic to a degree that myself and comrades lack reasonable words for. We never wanted to state that Comrade Ned is pathetic, but his work online is pathetic. His real work, which we respect and defend, is all done in real life. In real life, he is an above average organizer. Online, he is a patsy for everyone. We intend to get out our three books published by Jason Unruh as he promised us. For Maoist, Demarchists, and Third Worldists, with their writings, we cannot speak for them, but we assume they have the same plans in mind. We are upset that the Manual for Revolutions, Volumes 1 and 2, have not been published in book form. It is obvious that Dr. Weisfeld expects us to have internet access. Comrade Net misled us into thinking that both these books would be published in book form. We expel both the chairman of the revolution of the cleric of public relations from the United International Intercommunal Convergence. We therefore elect Dark Synovia chairman representative of the United International Intercommunal Convergence. This will be confirmed later by Maoist groups and third worldist groups who are also part of this convergence. We know full well Dr. Weisfeld will twist this claiming that it is anti-Semitism. We have feared this accusation which has held us back from making any grievances public. But how can a Demarchist be chairman when all Demarchists have withdrawn from the convergence? I wish to thank Jason Unruh and Luke Dublin for reading out this to the public. I encourage real afterthought from both of them, including any disagreements they may have. Now, my personal feelings is that Comrade Net has not misled people into thinking that the books would be published in book form there have been difficulties that we did not foresee coming this is not being this is not being misleading this is not an intentional act on his part to deceive so i think this this part is written unfairly as though it was a deliberate attempt to mislead and i don't believe that that claim is fair I also will state that I do not believe Comrade Net to be a patsy. I would believe that he has tried to help people to get together, but I believe the word patsy uh, falsely portrays what he has been doing at that time.